All right, what's up guys? Eric Diaz here, bringing you my very first review, um, or very first review YouTube video. And this time it's going to be of the Optica Steadicam that I use to um, balance my GoPro. So, I'm gonna jump right into that. Optica is the brand, if that is how you pronounce it. I'm gonna go over the different things that it comes with if you order it. And um, more, more than a review, this is actually how to balance it for a smaller camera like a GoPro. So to start off, the camera comes with three weights. The, it comes with two, this is, a, this is one of the smaller ones. It comes with two small ones like this and one larger one, which is about twice this size. So it's a lot of weight. I'm not exactly sure how much weight it is, but it's enough to balance, I think it's at a two to three pound camera um, on the top up there. But if you're using a small camera, well, I guess I'll get into that in a minute. I'll get into how you um, balance it if you're using a small camera. But back to the features, this is the handle. It's an awesome handle. I don't, I haven't actually held very many steady cams, so I don't have anything to compare it to. But it's really comfortable. The whole thing, it, it, it isn't super heavy. It's got this gimbal. Um, and it works really smoothly. It's got right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's a um, a Level so it'll show you whether or not it's the static balance is good and when you swing it around in every which way and stuff so um, I Think this video. Yeah, like I said, is gonna be more about how you would balance it with a small camera So I'm gonna get right into that the most effective way I found it took me forever to get this but the most effective um Thing I found that you could do was you have one small weight small weight on the bottom here and then you have your larger weight and your other small weight up top right here sorry I don't know if I moved that out of the camera or not guys I'm using my GoPro right now to film this and um, I don't have that LCD screen that goes on the back so I can't actually see what I'm filming but you've got the bigger weight right here and then you've got the smaller weight up top here and I just taped them on top of this because well I just recently got this and I haven't found a more effective way to secure them to the top but you want to secure them to the top towards the back I don't know if you guys can see how much is left on the back but right about there is where you want to do this and then you have this thing that slides for whatever um, tripod thing or it's like the top of a tripod would be so if you're using a GoPro then you're going to need the tripod mount for it as well as just the camera you're also going to need the tripod mount so the gopro is going to just mount right on right about there not completely at the front but right about there and then after it's mounted there um, it's going to be already pretty in balance this other part is how you adjust the balance so after that's on top you don't need to change any of that you just change this and depending on how you change this is how your camera is going to balance so it's not right in the middle right in the middle is not necessarily going to balance your camera when you take your steady cam like this and you push it forward there shouldn't be any swaying back and forth like this if there is swaying back and forth like that you need to adjust this up and down so if it sways back and forth you'll need to adjust this um, further forward or further backward depending on which way it's swaying backwards or forwards and then finally when you move it side to side like back and forth like this when you're holding the handle there shouldn't be any swaying side to side like that it shouldn't sway side to side like that um, if it is doing that then you should tilt the weight down there like that to the side and depending on which way it's swaying you tilt it and then the last part is it's called static balance when you hold it in your hand just sitting there in your hand, you, it should be um, it should be completely balanced. Obviously, it's not completely balanced right now. Now it falls sideways and it falls backwards and every which way because I don't have the camera on here and this isn't in the right place. But when you have all that on there, you're just gonna want to hold on to it and it should um, stay completely straight and your camera should be looking straight ahead. And you achieve that by adjusting this in the like I said before, you adjust it up and down and side to side to achieve that balance. 
Now as far as my recommendation for this product goes, it costs me $50 off of Amazon to get this product. It was exactly what I was looking for. Um, I wasn't looking for one of the fancy $500 Steadicams, although that would have been super cool. I'm just getting into cinematography and that's just too expensive for what I was looking for. For my purposes, this was perfect. It took me a really long time to figure out how to get it balanced and I had a lot of help from my cousin Steven. He lives in California so we were going on vacation around the same time I got this and I saw him in California. He does weddings professionally and he's really big into cinematography. He graduated from Biola University with um, some sort of film degree. So he was able to help me out with this a ton and that was super great and he helped me figure out the most effective way to balance it and it actually works really well. Most pe For most people it's extremely hard to get this balanced. If you read some of the reviews on Amazon, a lot of people have a ton of trouble getting this balanced because I mean it's kind of weird. You have weights down up here, you have weights on top, and you have weights down low. But after you get it all figured out, it's super, super nice. Holds your camera super steady. I can run with it, I can walk with it, and the performance is just great. So I would highly recommend this. Um, if you're just looking for something cheap for a small camera that's going to make your shots a little bit steadier. Um, previously on my channel, oh and by the way, this GoPro sticker was, I put that on there, that wasn't, they didn't come like that. I put that GoPro sticker on there when I first got it. Um, I'm a huge GoPro fan, I have the GoPro Hero 2, that's what I'm using to film this video. It's great. So anyway, um, I would recommend this product, it's super great. Um, previously on my channel I had only been doing like Minecraft Pocket Editions videos on my iPad. That, those stopped coming out because Minecraft Pocket Edition kind of got boring and because the display recorder on my iPad that I was using started like whacking out. So I don't have that anymore either. So probably not going to be seeing many Minecraft videos for a while but I am going to be using this and my GoPro to make a ton of amazing videos that I'm going to be putting out on my channel for you guys. So be looking forward to that. I cannot wait to try this out and show you guys some of the footage that it produces. I can't wait to uh, make some parkour videos and some acoustic cover videos. Post in the comments if you have any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see me do. I'm totally open to any kind of video that you guys want to see me do. Me and my friends are all into parkour, we're all into, most of my friends are musicians, so we do that sort of stuff. So any kind of videos like that that you guys want to see, just post in the comments, like this video, subscribe if you want to see some of the amazing footage that this will do, and um, some of the awesome action videos that I'm going to be putting out. And I'll see you guys next time.